All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so I want to connect the dots and help somebody see how simple this is. All right, so the day of the Lord is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. It is the end of the world. All right, and so there cannot be a thousand year period afterwards and there cannot be unsaved people living after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and I want to connect the dots here between these two verses in 1st Thessalonians 5 verse 2 and 2nd Peter chapter 3 verse 10 all right, so let me read these for you. Okay, we're going to start in 1 Thessalonians 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief ye are all the children of light and the children of the day we are not of night nor of darkness okay so very clearly here uh, we see that the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night and when the Lord comes there will be sudden destruction all right for when they shall say peace and safety on earth no then comes sudden destruction of course Jesus talks about this as well that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. In the days of Noah, they were marrying and given in marriage, eating and drinking, and then the floods came and took them all away, right? So we're seeing a parallel here with that. But then I want you to pay attention here. The day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. <clears throat> All right. Now we're going to draw a parallel here in 2 Peter chapter 3, starting at verse 10. All right. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay. So what we can gather from this is that the day of the Lord is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. All right, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, you know, it's not only the end of the I mean it's the end of the world. It's and that means the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up therefore there cannot be a bonus thousand years there cannot be another opportunity to be saved there cannot be unsaved people living after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven all right now one last thing here what's interesting here is 
This is in 1 Thessalonians 5, where it says, You know yourselves perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them. All right, so this is right after 1 Thessalonians 4. Right, If you're good with numbers, 4 comes before 5. All right, and in First Thessalonians four, we read, "The Lord Himself shall descend from heaven." This is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord so if you connect the dots here this is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven we are resurrected we are lifted up into the air right and this is parallel with what we read in 2 Peter chapter 3. All right. The day of the Lord come as a thief in the night. When the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. This is consistent with everything that we read in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. When Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven it is the end of the world and when it's the end of the world all unbelievers are destroyed forever and there's a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness